Across the world and here in our home state of Utah, people are going blind needlessly. The Moran Eye Center envisions a different world where no one with a blinding condition, eye disease, or vision impairment is without hope, understanding, and treatment. Funded solely by caring donors, our Global Outreach Division works to make our vision a reality by creating access to sustainable eye care. Overseas, our volunteers are training more doctors and nurses while eliminating a backlog of blindness. Across Utah, we're reaching neighbors who count on us to access care they can't afford. While we in the United States have been considered to have very good medical care, the infrastructure to provide care to many patients is very fragmented. It's important to understand that there are many people who don't have the resources available or you don't have insurance. They fall through the cracks. They don't know where to turn. They don't know where to go. And the cost can be quite prohibitive in order to find answers. And so for many of our patients, we know they live from moment to moment, relying on services, relying on family and support to be able to hopefully get them the help that they need. We are continually responding to the needs of our community, finding out where patients are. We are operating throughout the Salt Lake Valley, and we're going as far as partnering with the UNHS on the Navajo Nation to provide eye care for the Utah Strip. Because of our work down there, word has spread, and we're continuing to see patients throughout the entire nation. Our school district serves approximately 3,200 students, both on the Navajo Nation and the Ute Mountain Ute Reservation. Many of our students don't have access to proper screening and eyewear, and part of our partnership has been working with the Moran Eye Center. I see some of my kids struggling with their vision. I try to make it work for them where they sit up front so they can see the screen better or the whiteboard. Having glasses will really benefit their learning. The frustrating and hard part is we are in a very large geographical location, so a lot of times it's too hard for these parents to get their kids to travel two hours or wherever they need to go. Not everyone has cars. They don't even know that they can't see. They don't know what it's like to be able to see clearly. Our students travel long distances, many dirt roads, in order to get to and from school. Moran Eye Center has been able to bring in services that these students would not be able to get otherwise. On top of that, the community get to come down to get screened and get the glasses they need. They're able to have this, this time together as a community. It is a huge blessing. I'm glad that they're out here, especially on the Navajo Reservation and helping our people down here. I know it's hard for our elders like my dad to even travel that far to go to Salt Lake City to get something like this done. I see it in my class and with other programs. When they have new glasses, they come in, they're like, look, Miss Christine, I can see now. <laughs> and it's just neat to see kids. Can't wait to share the good news with you when they walk through the door. We really appreciate when we get the help to get these kids to be able to see. I feel like there will be hope for those kids. Living in the dark, living in invulnerable places. This community knows firsthand how difficult it is to function in a world that's harsh. Some of these patients are suffering from conditions that already reduce their ability to see well. Project Homeless Connect Salt Lake is where we're connecting this community with services to be able to transition to a new way of life and to care for individuals. It can be difficult for them to survive. And vision is important for security. It's important for an occupation to be able to hopefully make the transition out of homelessness. I've had a condition called strabismus for three years now where I see two of everything. I was thinking a second pair in case they break because my glasses are always breaking on me and then I can't see again. And that makes it hard to retain employment or find work. I need to be able to see and not to be embarrassed of myself and feel like I have to do everything alone because I can't see too well and not feel like I fit in. Many patients come to our office with tragic stories, how it's impacted their life, particularly if you're new to this country. These patients want to get back out into the community. They want to be able to drive, provide for their community, provide for their families. 
And this is one simple way that we can do that by helping to restore their vision. Moran Eye Center really make a difference to improve the lives of refugees and immigrants and, and victims of trafficking as well. One of the first things that they want to address is healthcare. And so going to see a doctor for initial health screening and often uh, getting their eyes checked is a super important thing for them as well. Para nosotros los latinos, los hispanos, pues es muy bueno porque es a uh, de bajos recursos y lo más importante es que uno se siente agradable porque para los que no hablamos mucho inglés, pues hay personas que te ayudan y saben eh, español acá. I realized that partnerships like this are what makes everything work. Without these partnerships, we can't achieve our goals. We're benefiting each other in a mutual way to serve and help the clients. I'm super thankful for the partnership and super thankful to be able to see the great services that the clients get because of this partnership. Every week we're hearing of patients who have been living in fear and been living in the darkness for many years because of things that are curable, like cataracts. For many of our patients, they don't know where to turn. The cost can be quite prohibitive. They're already either legally blind or have significant visual impairment where life becomes very difficult. I won't drive at night. I mean, it's way hard. I feel useless, you know, I mean, it's, it's very difficult. I'm taking chances every day to do everything that I need to do. When I first got the call, I, I cried. And I feel like it now because it's very overwhelming. I'm excited to get this done. When we find out that they have something as simple as a cataract to take care of, it can be profound in terms of restoring independence and hope to their life. It's a pivotal moment for their lives. It's a gift, if you ask me, because the eye center was my only hope. A lot of people are in this same position. And it's, this is a, a life-changing thing. The Retina Clinic is our once a month clinic that we house at our Mid Valley location. And these are for patients who have active retinal problems, particularly diabetic retinopathy. And these patients need ongoing treatment and they need to be able to get that in a timely fashion. If detected early, treatment can really mitigate and help prevent some of the long-term complications, including blindness. Patients often come in with completely unmanaged disease where they haven't seen a doctor in years or, or ever. They still need either medications injected into their eyes, laser procedures or surgery. But the very act of patients getting care and then being able to have some agency over their own care changes your life. We're very grateful for the Moran hosting this free clinic so that people like my father that's less fortunate can be here and, and be there for his family. This clinic has helped my dad in so many ways, as well as my family. It has changed our lives for the better. We're grateful that he's able to see the things that we're blessed to see with our eyes. This clinic would not run uh, without the help and assistance that's been provided and the donations that have been provided. I don't know what we do without that. One of my favorite quotes from Winston Churchill is that we make a living by what we get, but we make a life by what we give. This is an opportunity for our donor community to come together, to make a gift, to be able to transform lives, to make an impact on those people in need throughout our state. This program is built 100% on donor funds to be able to support our programs, both here locally and as well as internationally. It never gets old to see the impact that you can make on somebody's life. All of us have a role to play in being able to transform that patient's life. Truly, your support is helping us make all the difference. Together, we can see the need and be the change.